Easter is right around the corner and some bunny better get ready. <laughs> <laughs> that was an ad lib from the menu to a sweet treat. The kids can help out with our next guest making easier, entertaining Easter, entertaining easier. <laughs> I'm just still stuck on the hopping. Welcome back, friend of the show, Tangi Patton of Good Taste TV. You gonna hop on in? Yeah, it's a good ad lib too. It got us all. We brought the cheese today, Tangi. Uh, but what did you bring I, for us? Well, I brought a really simple way to do Easter at home, especially one that the kids can help out with. So. There's a little bit for mom and dad, of course, and okay. then we've got stuff for the kiddos well, too. Why don't we start with the adult section? Absolutely, <laughs> rosé. It is actually all rosé day. season, but yeah, Thank Courtney you. and I are of the same belief: rosé all year all round. Year round. Uh, all three sixty-five. Yes, it's hard <laughs> for me time. to say no all the time. This is from, of course, H E B Le Chamrel. It's less than fifteen dollars a bottle. Mm -hmm. I love this. It's a Provence rosé. It's all the classic dry minerality. Beautiful little hint of fruit. Ooh. It's a good oh, one. Good. And a pretty fancy label. Throw Isn't it in it? an ice bucket and yeah. you are good to and go. And again, a screw top. I love that. The best, that. right? Yes. Mm. No delay. Okay, talking cocktails. Gin can be funny, right? It's all about the quality of the gin. Yes. This is my favorite. This is the Grey Whale. Uh, reading the bottle on this is quite an adventure. All of the uh, botanicals are sourced from the California coast. Mm. They tell you, you know, the juniper from Big Sur. The kelp is from the Mendocino area. Beautiful gin, and that's a cocktail. We've got the recipe on Good Taste TV. It tastes kind of like a pina colada. It's like a pina colada with gin. Oh, Ray Ray. Man. Gin's oh, having a cups. moment, too, and it I is. like that it's, you know, it's kind of a local uh, product as well, yeah. so it's very cool. Well, it's incredibly responsibly done. The whole company has just got a great mantra. Anyway, I love Beautiful it. Beautiful bottle. Gray too. Whale. Okay, we're going to build an Easter bunny. So you want an Easter cake for your table, right? But mm -hmm. it's sometimes the cakes kind of take a long time. This is all done for you. I go to HEB, I get the cupcakes. You can get them iced or uniced, right? Uh -oh. And then you start building. I've got the directions on my website, but you're basically starting from the middle and you build out. And the cute part is we're going to finish the ears. There's oh, just a little shredded gonna, coconut yeah. on there. And then the face, there's the whiskers, right? Whoops. Adorable. You haven't you lived trimmed. until you do it upside, upside down. Right? So you just took a whole thing of licorice and cut it in half, cut the strips in half. Yes. And yeah, if you can't find small ones. And you're just really kind of giving it the little personality. It's adorable. And it comes together. It looks so cute. It's so it's cute. So, in the picture right. that we had of the finished product, you just, you didn't put any food color or anything on the coconut like we did here for this you one. You can do it, right. You can do the little inside of the ears with coloring. Okay. And it's real simple to color coconut with just a few drops of food coloring in a Ziploc bag and, and you're done. Yeah, it's done. It's so sweet. Um, and I love that because that's a great thing to bring over or leave out. It's oh, really yeah. cute. And the pre-made cupcakes, that is a pro tip right It's there. so Saves easy. a ton of time. And they used to sell the icing. You can buy a little tub of the icing. Yeah. They do. It's adorable. It it's cute super cute. cute. Okay. Cute? So while we're looking Very at nice. that, we're talking about the rest of the spread, and we can't just have regular rolls, but we have to have cool <laughs> rolls. Well, and the reason we have cool rolls is because Cool Lenscom did, cool did the beautiful table settings, always as always. Lovely. And so I love this little elevated version of These our rolls. These are so cute, These Tangie. are bonnets, and they are so easy. You can make the dough from scratch if you want, or you can buy frozen, um, like Parker House rolled yeah. dough. Yeah. The dough, not the already shaped rolls. And you just take a little bit out, take your scissors, and you clip the little ears. That's it. That's it. So then it bakes. And then you come back and you can put little sesame seeds in for the eyes. Oh, they're mm -hmm. sesame. And they're, they're, they're darling. And of course they're delicious, right? I mean, who doesn't love a nice buttery yeasty roll? Aren't oh, they cute? They're so very nice. cute. So fun. This is a great uh, centerpiece for your table. It's a Hasselback ham. You know the Hasselback potatoes, right? Yes. Steak 58 does amazing Hasselback potatoes. And that's this basically just named because of the cut. That's right? because of the cut. And what I've done in here is taken slices of Swiss cheese and put them in between the individual layers. Oh. You really want to kick it up. You could add a little jalapeno slices in there too. I've done that. It's very good. Um, we have put some garlic and butter and honey and you just bake it in the oven and voila. Gorgeous. It's a beautiful centerpiece. And is the meat pre-cooked, Tangie, or this is a totally raw ham that you're starting with the, the meat, slices ham, of cheese? It's, it's pre-cooked. You could do it and cook it, but if, if you do that, I would do the ham and come back and finish it off the hassle. Then way. add the cheese. I'm afraid your cheese might break down to the extent that 
you know, you wouldn't want to eat it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to eat it. Okay. You might, but it may not look that great. Well, Tangie Patton, this is so much fun. <laughs> Clever, simple ideas. Uh, you're always a pro. Thanks so much for stopping by. Recipes, how to's on our fun little bunny at goodtaste.tv. It's oh. very cute. On and the I fun love little the bunny. Spray. Spread. <laughs> right. Pop, pop, pop. Very Always nice. great to see you. Good to see you guys. And too. a reminder, of course, you don't want to miss Tangie's show, Good Taste with Tangie, this weekend on KPRC2. Set your DVRs for 5.30 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. We'll be right back.